Good to see you guys about ready to go out on your own into the world and make your way and make this a better place to live. So thank you. And finally, I'd like to thank the Phoenix School staff. The investment that you put in, into these students, into their lives, and I know many times that goes beyond the extra help, maybe in math that I always needed, or those kinds of things. And uh, a lot of you have built up pretty close relationships with your teachers. I want you to know that they'll still be around, Phoenix will still be around after you graduate. So, if you're so inclined, please thank your teachers. Again, welcome. Tonight is your night. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Rick Burton, who is the Director of Student Services for Rosebrook Schools, to say a few words. So this is what my daughter sees every time she does a dance recital. Okay. Well, I want to kind of keep this brief, but I want to first of all thank the Phoenix School. As the charter school residing within the, the Rosenberg School boundaries and having already worked at South Umpqua Schools with the Phoenix School for um, 18 years prior, I can only tell you that we're blessed to have, truly blessed, to have a Phoenix School residing within our community. It is a school that continues to focus on the cutting edge of recognizing the needs of everybody in our community whether those are students who want to attend the charter school by themselves or those that choose to because it just seems like a family option. But what I can tell you as graduates moving into the next phase of your life, these are some important messages I want to point out. Not just that you have an opportunity to attend a wonderful opportunity in the school that you resided in and the one you chose to attend, but more importantly, as you continue to go through your life, you're going to get a lot of advice from people. And I've learned a few things in my life. I'm 50 years old, and I can tell you that having been a graduate, some of the most important discussions you're gonna make with your family is gonna happen after this. You're gonna to celebrate today. We owe that honor to you because you've worked hard. For some of you, you blistered through the, the, the program with no problems, and for some of you, it was an utter grind. And you still made it happen, you still finished, and that's something to be proud of, and so I have an infinite amount of respect for you guys, but you should feel proud of yourselves. But please remember some important things that you need to follow what's important in your heart. You need to make decisions that's important to you. Don't do something for everybody else. Do what's important to you. And remember, you need to set goals, but also focus that a goal without a plan is just a wish. So you always have to set reasonable goals and set the bar and be patient with yourself. Practice letting go of things that you have no control of. But more important, take care of yourselves. I can only tell you that 40 students can create this much love and you can't even find a parking spot. It's amazing. So to the parents that have stuck with your, your children throughout the years and to you graduates, I wish you well. I wish you the best. And please remember, you are a valued part of our community whether you stay or go. So good luck and congratulations. We're proud of you.
Okay, <laughs> start again. My name is Alvaro Francisco Manuel, and at school I go by Al because they know I'm their pal. And so I'm one of three AmeriCorps members at Phoenix. The other two are Lynn and Melissa. Lynn is the garden coordinator and leader, and so you all had the opportunity to work her, work with her in the garden. And we also have Melissa, who's the early college coordinator, and you all work with her if you attend some classes, uh, UCC. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to y'all and your service and the opportunity you guys gave these students this year. Um, then there's me. I'm the Healthy Futures Leader. When you hear of health, you associate with, um, you normally associate that with like body image and physical activity, but it's more than that. It com it compresses, it, um, it's uh, physical health, it's mental health, emotional health, and just overall wellness. <coughs> So coming to the school, um, I, had, I had one goal um, that had two parts. The first part of my goal was to get to know all the students of the school, get to know, get to know their first name, um, and get, get to know their first name. That was my first goal, It's get to know their first name of all the members of the school. That included staff, teachers, and students. Uh, they didn't come easy, uh, and uh, I had a hard time Sometimes I would ask a person in the morning, what's your name? They would tell me, and then like two hours later, I was like, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. What's your name again? Um, so a lot of times that's, that's what happened, but the reason for that is because I wanted to build the relationship with you guys and get to know you on a personal level. And it starts with getting to know your name and making an extra effort to get to know each and every one of you. And the second part of my goal for this year was to make a positive impact. Uh, I'm a believer of God and all glory goes to Jesus Christ. Amen. And through my faith, I believe that I have a gift. We all have a gift. And my gift is the person you saw every day, day in and day out. The person that cheered you on, the person that high-fived you, the person that gave you a hug or uh, said what's up, good morning, all the good stuff. And so I hopefully I made a positive impact in your life this year. Through this position, I was able to teach a healthy living course uh, uh, this year. Um, and it was a, a block class, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. And it was incredible. It was fun and I had a great time getting to know the students. But it took a lot of lesson planning, it took a lot of uh, time and energy and focus to create the activities and to get the community members to come out and help us in the class. And I just want to give it up for the teachers here that you all learned from because they did a tremendous uh, job. So thank, thank you all the teachers. <laughs> we had, a lot of, we had uh, lots of memories this year. Um, uh, I made soap with some of the students in here. Uh, we elbow bump for Flannel Fridays for a fundraiser for FBLA, um, the kids chose to dye my hair a rainbow color and with the lizard cut out. And so that was a, a blast. Um, we had prom, uh, the prom community did a great job with setting up prom and I enjoyed uh, attending that and having fun with you guys that night. Um, but those are just a few, one, few of uh, some memories that I want to share with y'all. But one aspect of my job that I absolutely love <laughs> was uh, taking, my, taking the students to CrossFit. Um, CrossFit is a high intensity weight lifting program. And when I first came, I was like, I have no clue what that is. So I Googled it, researched it, and I was like, dang, that's intense. And so a week prior, I started running, trying to get my cardio back in. I was doing push-ups, a little bit of sit-ups, but I wasn't prepared. But I was very grateful to the graduates that are here that helped me the first two weeks to get the ball rolling. They helped me with leading the stretches and they just helped me the route to get there and where to park and things like that. So I, I thank them. Um, and it was a lot of hard work that we put in the gym. Uh, and it was really cool to see the progress at the end. We hit some big PRs this past week. We did some push presses, we did deadlifts, and then uh, we did hang things and stuff. And most all the students in that class uh, PR, set a personal record. Um, so, uh, lastly, I had a ball in the air. It was so much fun getting to know you all. 
from uh, just seeing your hard work and dedication in the classroom, and then like during lunch, saying hi to you, getting to know you on a personal level, and just socializing, socializing with you, doing a little dab out here every now and then, and uh, just having some fun with that. So congratulations, you guys made it, you guys graduated high school. I'm proud of you, your loved ones out there are proud of you. You all should be proud of what you all accomplished today, okay? And so with that, Oh, I'm so blessed that our, our, our lives crossed this year, and maybe we'll cross in the future. Y'all take care, okay? Um, so much peace and love. swells just a couple of sizes when I hear these kids actually share their stories. I wish that we had time to hear all of their stories and to have each of them speak because they're incredible kids, young adults, students, and I've been very blessed to get to know and love them. So at this point, it is my pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Kevin Hansberger. Let me start off by saying it's been an honor to be up here giving this speech and to have gone to Phoenix. Three years ago, if you told me I'd be standing here on the stage, I wouldn't have believed you. However, perseverance is the key to success. Phoenix not only helped me conquer the issues of my past, but it has set me on a bright and optimistic path for the future. When I first arrived at Phoenix, I had very little high school credit. And I was about two years behind. I realized I made a mistake with my education. It's still one of my biggest regrets today. Although the issues of my past that prevented me from getting an education were not my fault, I still had trouble blaming myself. However, you can always turn your life around. In 2013, I moved to Roseburg and started attending Phoenix. At first, I was completely shocked. There were no bells, I called their teachers by their first names, and the usual class had around 12 students in it. After about a month of adjusting, I found out Phoenix was just exactly what I needed. I went from receiving all F's to all A's, and I actually got excited to get up and go to school every day. For all the hardships I had to endure, I knew only one thing that helped me achieve social mobility, education. Attaining an education can provide you with an opportunity to achieve the American dream. Education can lift a person from the depths of poverty into a life of economic assurance and stability. The adversary, adversity that I had faced invigorated my aspirations to achieve an education, although at times I struggled to move on. However, perseverance is the key to success. Knowing eventually that I could continue to pursue an education will achieve the economic status that your parents have worked their entire lives for you to be able to achieve. As of today, I'm currently attending UCC. We have a four point of GPA. I would like to thank the staff and administration for their help throughout the years, and my fellow classmates who have inspired me to continue to pursue an education. Always remember, perseverance is the key to success. With that said, I'd like to introduce our next student speaker, Lynn Davidson. Greetings, graduates, <clears throat> faculties, friends, and family. We're here to celebrate Part of our lives. But for some of us, it was the heart. 
artist. However, we wouldn't have made it this far without your encouragement and guidance. Thank you for standing with us through all the heartbreaks and letdowns, and even the exciting days like the first day of school and <clears throat> our last. We stand here together as you send us on our way to succeed in the world without your guidance. But that doesn't mean we won't still ask for it in 10 years when our first child is going to kindergarten. Because all of you, we aren't walking into this world blindly. We are going into the world with everything you taught us. And that has been so much. You taught us to walk so that we could hold our heads high instead of having to crawl on our hands and knees. You taught us to talk so that we could change the world with our voices and opinions, even if sometimes you hated it because we back talk. Chelsea, Victoria, and Melanie taught us algebra, all those X's and PEMDAs that we can't that we had to go through so that we could pass and actually get here. But those taught us that we could get through anything, even quadratic functions. We have all gone through massive changes. We are more than random people in the halls. We are friends. We are the class of 2016. Yeah. 